this 1960s look with a cowl that flips up the bottom and a little poop at the back. It's a really fun hairstyle to wear to a party or to wear as an everyday look. It's a little bit more time consuming than my usual 1940s, 1950s cowls, but it definitely pays off because it's a very different look to what I'm used to, but it's actually really cute. And you can accessorize it with a little bow or however you want. It's just super fun. So let's get into the video. Before I start any hairstyle, I always like to thoroughly brush my hair to make sure that it's free of knots. Now this 60s style I'm going for is inspired by a couple of different images and this style can work just as well on long hair as well as short and a 60s hairstyle with long hair is a bit more Bridget Bardot inspired and is really really lovely. Next we're going to dampen our hair and roll up medium to large size pin curls. And I'm just choosing to point these pin curls facing towards my face but this really doesn't matter. The best set for a 1960s hairstyle is actually hot rollers, but because I don't have any hot rollers, I'm just using pin curls like I usually do. And this works well, but you're just going to have more of a fluffier, precise set with hot rollers. With Kelly, my fringe for this style, I like to point the curl going away from my face and up to the back. So that just helps with how my fringe falls in the end, so it sweeps away, kind of like Marilyn Monroe's fringe in the 60s. And I'm just going around and repeating the same pattern in about two to three different rows across my head with all of the curls pointing in the same direction. And I'm just going to keep repeating this until it's all done. And ta-da! It might look a little bit messy, but don't worry if some are a little bit loose or a little bit out of place. Once we put our headscarf on, that will hold everything in place overnight. So making sure that's tied up nice and securely and all of the little curls are tucked in. Now we can sleep with that overnight for about six to eight hours. I'm back, it's the next morning. I'm just going to take my headscarf off and take out all of my pink curls. And oh my gosh, I don't know what happened to one of the curls. We'll see what we can do with it. We'll try and make it work. So I just take out all of the curls and loosen them up and give them a run through with my fingers and then a loose brush over. Once I've given my hair a brush through, I will then pin up the top half so that I can tease section by section. And I like to start at the bottom and then work my way to the top. Now this can get a little bit messy, but you've just got to tease a lot, hairspray a lot, tease a lot, and then hairspray again, and you should have enough body. <laughs> and just going layer by layer, I'm just dropping down a little bit at a time and teasing through. And make sure to leave the very top of your hair unteased so that you can smooth that over so you've got a nice smooth top of your hair. Now that we've finished teasing the majority of our hair, we're just going to tease the fringe to give that a little bit of oomph. And after we've teased the fringe, we can tease the sides to try and even all of that volume out. I thought I should keep this clip in here because this is actually a realistic view of what it was like trying to create this hairstyle. <laughs> very, very messy. And it should look like this and you're done. Just kidding. It's very messy and we need to smooth over the top now, now that all of the teasing is done. So yes, with my comb, I'm just going over and lightly brushing the top and then working my way down to the bottom and lifting those curls up so that they curl up like Betty Drapers. I secured the bump at the back with some clips to try and hold everything in place while I just played around with the rest of my hairstyle, making sure that it was all even, giving it a bit of a tease and making sure that my curls were manicured and neat at the bottom. And of course, a bit more hairspray. You can't have enough hairspray with this sort of hairstyle. You just keep spraying, combing, spraying, combing. And you can check the back of your hair with a mirror to make sure that it looks how you want it to. 
and if you have any loose strands of hair at the back you can just pinch it with one hand and pull it up with the other and that should pull everything up underneath your hairstyle so you can't see it. And we're done. You can leave this as is, so a little bit curly and unruly at the back, but you can secure the bump at the back with a little clip or accessory of your choosing. Thank you all so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this hairstyle and if you try it out make sure to let me know in the comments. See you next week, bye!